Here's our host, Tian Wei. Hello and welcome to World Insight. I'm Tian Wei. British Prime Minister Liz Truss announced on Thursday she would step down as soon as her party elected a new leader in the coming week. We set out a vision for a low-tax, high-growth economy that would take advantage of the freedoms of Brexit. I recognise, though, given the situation, I cannot deliver the mandate on which I was elected by the Conservative Party. I have therefore spoken to His Majesty the King to notify him that I am resigning as leader of the Conservative Party. Ms. Truss makes a history as the shortest-serving British Prime Minister, resigning after barely six weeks in the office. The Conservative leadership election is set to be completed by next Friday, October 28th. Could mistrust resignation calm markets and bring stability? What does the quick change in premiership mean for a crisis hit Britain? And some even ask, what about for the European continent? Answers with a Chinese scholar. For the latest uh, turmoil at Number 10 Downing Street, joining us in Beijing, Wang Yiwei, Zhang Monet Chair Professor and Director of the Center for European Studies with Renmin University of China. Professor Wang, good to see you. So, frequent changes of personnel at Number 10 Downing Street, what does it say about the British politics these days? I think this is aftermath, uh, aftermath of the Brexit. Uh, I mean, it happened in 2016. Uh, when the Boris Johnson get it down, uh, but when the uh, trust, I would say, uh, renegotiate with the European Union about uh, some articles with about uh, North Ireland, and then make this is in a mess. Actually, European Union actually also very concerned about uh, the new prime minister. Uh, people say uh, in 1960s when the uh, Secretary of State of the U.S. Uh, joked uh, uh, to point to the uh, U.K. during that time said. The Great Britain lost the empire, but not uh, yet to find the new identity. When actually Theresa May uh, put forward so called greater uh, global Britain, actually it's not so global. Uh, so who can replace of the uh, single market of the European Union as the uh, number one trade partner of uh, uh -huh. UK? Actually, it's difficult to find. So that's actually uh, economic situation, uh, diplomatic difficulties make the turmoil of the political. You know, in the Conservative Party. Mm. Now, of course, uh, the election process is still underway. Uh, we see among the candidates uh, the former Prime Minister of the UK as well. Putting that aside, uh, how much uh, do you see there is going to be a debate about the qualities of leadership in the UK when the next election cycle is ongoing? Well, yes, because this uh, actually without enough uh, legitimacy for the new Prime Minister. Uh, they are all eyes on the 2024, uh, the general election. So the change the, uh, the Conservative Party, actually, and then because uh, the majority they have in the seat in the House and then be the Prime Minister, this without uh, enough support from the, uh, the British people. Even actually uh, after 2016 of the Brexit, uh, which also indicated that, that the great uh, contention between elites and then uh, the, the ordinary people even among the elites, actually, uh, 45 days ago, uh, as a Conservative Party elites choose uh, Sunak, but uh, general members of the Conservative parties that choose uh, Talash. And then this is uh, actually also the, uh, the gap between the elites and the then uh, ordinary people uh, within uh, the Conservative parties. So anyone be the new prime minister or the Conservative parties should uh, bridge the gap between the different uh, 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 you know, elites and also different opinions about the future of uh, uh, UK uh, between the, the elites and the people as a three huge task, impossible mm. mission maybe. On that, what does the latest so-called turmoil in British politics uh, uh, suggest about this discussion? Uh, actually, we say that UK is a uh, founding uh, father of the modern uh, democracy in the West. Uh, uh, but uh, in, uh, you know, several hundred years, there's not so much to reform. Uh, so that means we say conservative. And also we mean uh, they cannot choose Sunak as the uh, India uh, British can uh, actually 
is a, a smart uh, artery, very um, pragmatic uh, lead artery, uh, who represents the uh, financial city of London, and represents of the uh, pragmatic uh, approach of the Great uh, Britain's uh, diplomatic and domestic politics. But unfortunately, because uh, he, he, for his uh, uh, political correctness, cannot be chosen as the prime minister, even after uh, the trust also can, I don't think he can be uh, the uh, successor. So that's the problem. The political correctness hijack of the political reform. So that's the uh, change the leaders, change the, even change the party cannot uh, actually fundamentally so, solve this problem. Mm. This is not just one single reason that's behind the latest quote-unquote turmoil. Uh, you talk about the Brexit, there's certainly also the pandemic, as well as the economic difficulties together with the geopolitics. How do you see this generation of leaders will be able to endure these kind of tests? And that's what leadership is about, really. Yes, uh, many countries actually suffer the, the leadership uh, crisis, uh, even credibility crisis. Uh, it's because of, uh, uh, we say, the globalization, the new liberalism, globalization is end, which actually driven by uh, Thatcher and uh, Ronald Reagan uh, in the name of the new liberalism, Washington consensus. Uh, so when the trusts uh, want to be uh, 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 Thatcher 2.0, actually, this is a joke, because this is not an uh, anglo saxon dominate uh, globalization. So the gap between rich and poor is so huge. The uh, declining of the middle class uh, in the UK, in the US, in uh, everywhere. So that's the uh, global phenomenon, actually, uh, that the UK, how to deal with that kind of challenge. Actually, the change the party, change the, uh, uh, the, the, the leader, mm -hmm. I don't think they can solve this problem. We need to change the mind. We need to uh, uh, reform uh, uh, the system to find the new competitive advantage for the UK economy. I mean, that's the key. Finally, before we go, there are already discussions in China, for example. What does that mean for China-UK relations? Too early to tell? I think that first, the UK need to do the homework. Uh, Conservative Party and domestic politics. Uh, we need uh, a strong leader and with the fully uh, approval of the people has the legitimacy to find the new uh, approach to deal with uh, China and with a more uh, pragmatic and even uh, considered about the financial city's uh, consideration, we can have a more complementary cooperation between UK and, and China. Wang Yiwei, thank you so much, Professor.